Pookie Wookie Bear pretty much finds out he's been a coming friend and has to say he's sorry. Yay. Pretty much the best lecture of Hey, you have yeah. Would you mind watching Jamie for a little bit? I gotta run to the office. Sure, anything to avoid economics homework. Let's go, muchacho. Awesome. Sam. No parties, okay? <laughs> you make money. I thought that was called an allowance. No. An allowance you actually have to work for. Economics is easier. It's just supply and demand. Sounds complicated. No. This is your steak. You use it to buy your supplies, which is what you just got. All you need to do, create a little demand. Come on, man. That's nasty. Bummer, huh? Good thing we got everything you want right there. I'll take some chips. Two bucks. You only paid 50 cents for those. That grasshopper is called a profit. I don't have the two bucks. It's okay. That's called a kickback. It's free. That is what you get when you're in cahoots. Nice. Keith's murder scene in the screenplay, and I don't know if I can do it. I just can't imagine people sitting in a theater eating popcorn watching Keith get shot to death. Maybe it can be more than that. Maybe, like in literature, a violent death can often be uh, a catalyst for change or a lesson in humanity. I don't want my audience to understand Dan Scott, okay? I don't want to make Dan Scott a more conflicted character for the sake of a more complex plot line. Dan Scott isn't human. He doesn't deserve to be forgiven. And you know, frankly, Dan Scott doesn't deserve a spot in Jamie's life. Luke. I'm sorry, Hales. It's none of my business. My head's just been 